Hey everyone, so it's been a couple of days since the last video and during that time I've made some good progress on the game, so let's dive right into it. As you can see the very first thing that now greets you when you open up the game is this main menu. I've been playing with the idea of having the earth in the main menu for some time and I just wanted to try it really and see how it really would look like. So this is pretty much the first version, it's not complete yet as I'm planning to actually add some mountains or forest, not a lot of details but for example the Africa will definitely not be green and so on. Other than that there's not much in the main menu, as you can see I have a simple title and four buttons. Only two of those are functional, the play button and quit, the load game and the settings are not implemented yet because I, right now I don't have any load game system and the settings are not my main priority right now. Let's play! The very first thing that you will notice is this new panel of icons. I've added some new objects just to make a game look a little bit prettier and because I needed those objects to start implementing more functionality to the game. Okay, this is the one that I'm most proud of and it also was the hardest thing to implement. So far if you wanted to build anything you would have to place each object separately and it works okay for let's say tree or park bench but where you could really see the limitations was the pavement because when you had to click a hundred times to place 100 objects it just wasn't fun and, and something had to change it took some trial and error but after a few hours I ended up with this and here you can see the first problem and it's that when you place more than a few objects the game just couldn't handle it. I would drop from 100 FPS to like 15 and at that point the game wasn't really playable anymore. So I had to do something that I really didn't think that I would have to do this early in the development and that is optimization. I searched the internet and I stumbled upon the Unreal Engine's profiler, so I recorded around 30 seconds of the gameplay and this is what I found. The first problem was really obvious. When I had the whole world covered with objects, the tick function was running constantly and here you can see that it took 16 milliseconds to receive the tick for the pavement blueprint. The solution was pretty simple, I just disabled the tick for the pavement because right now I don't really have any functionality for it and I don't really know if I ever will have in the future. At that point the game was a little bit more playable but it wasn't where I wanted it to be so I had to start a new profile and dig a little bit deeper. Another problem that I stumbled upon was the occlusion call. I don't really know much about this topic so I will just say that I enabled the HZB occlusion and it gave me a nice bump of performance. So yeah, now you can see that I have the whole world covered and we are averaging at around 27 FPS roughly. It's still not perfect but I really need to move on to another task so I will probably have to solve this at some point later. To this point I struggled with the lighting a little bit, namely the shadows. Because my game is very dynamic it means that I can't really bake the lighting and I have to use the movable lights which resulted in this kind of blurry shadows. I was tinkering with the settings a little bit and found out that this shadow filter sharpen seems to work quite well. So now you can see that the shadows look a little bit better.
and that's basically it for the game part of things. Other than that, I've been playing with the graphical style of the YouTube channel a little bit. I created a logo, some background art, and the videos now have intro, which is nice. I would definitely like to know your opinion, so let me know down in the comments below what you think. I would also like to point out that I'm active on other social media like Twitter and Instagram. If you want more content from me, the links are in the description. This is also just the very beginning of the whole journey, so if you want to be a part of the adventure, subscribe. See ya. And something had to change.